Hey, what is going on, everybody? Boylan here, back for another video on Marvel Strike Force. Now, in today's video, I want to talk about this. So, what is this? I'm going to give you a few seconds to maybe take a look at it. And uh, this, if you didn't really notice it in the middle, what is that? It is a head of a sentinel. Now, what is the actual photo of? Well, you know, if you actually gleam through the in-game files, then you'll have found a file. Well, I found a file and, and a few others as well uh, called the Orchis Raids face. Now, about a, I don't know, maybe a week and a half ago. I don't know how long it's been now. You may have remembered a data mines video that I had done that talked about Orchis Raids, among other things, such as Purple ISO. Uh, so in this video, we're going to be deep diving beyond the traditional data mine. So what does this mean? Uh, these are asset files that basically that you have to uh, rip, you know, through Asset Studio to be able to get all of these in-game sprites, all these in-game uh, artwork, things like that, so that you can view it. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be taking a look at uh, some of the things that we know so far as well, based on, you know, the sheer observations of the files. So if you're ready to go, everybody, let's uh, boil this down. All right, and just to get started, I want to kind of share with you guys the process of how this is done. Now, this, like I said, goes beyond the traditional text data mines that you guys are used to when it comes to data mining events and things like this. You have to go a little bit one step further, which is taking the asset files and basically ripping them, like I said. And so this is Asset Studio here. And I want to just, for those of you who are out there, uh, apparently I've been accused of a whole bunch of things when it comes to data mines. And so I just want to be very clear that uh, anyone can do this if you have the skills to do it or know how or even teach yourself to do this. It's not that difficult. Actually, there's just a lot of lazy people out there who don't really care. And so I want to show you I have a couple of asset bundle files on the side here. Uh, you remember those character files that I showed you the arts for as well? Uh, well, there is one here, I believe let's, this one, the raids asset bundle. So this should be the one with that Orchis raids one. And then basically you go into you click over here onto the asset list, which is I know it's hard to see because it's, you know, it's not zoomed in. But anyways, you can kind of scroll. If we do the filter type by sprites, we can scroll through all of these different kind of artwork or the icons or sprites basically that is contained within this file. And that's how you would basically take an asset file and gleam all of the different objects from there. And they're named as well. So, you know, the ones I forget where I actually found that is somewhere in here, right? Like, like there, there we go. Where was that? This one here, or just raids base. So my guess is this is going to be the um, uh, is going to be the raid. Or just raids is 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 the next raids coming to Marvel Strike Force. I can almost guarantee that at this point. Um, whether or not it's a green raid or a purple raid, I mean, I, I think that they're again. I have no idea. I assume they're just going to go spotlight raid one, two, three, etc. Like that. So I would imagine that this is the next green raid coming. When I mean, given that it's in the data mines, there have been things in the files before that have been there for quite some time. So I don't know. This is I'm not exactly putting a time frame on this and I don't know, but this very likely is going to be the next thing. There's things like raid frame boss uh, or Orchis raid nodes boss. So that's what these look like, like in the game on the raid map, like that's what it would look like. Uh, there's a handful of Orchis raid node enemy. So I guess this would just be your standard node, uh, things like that as well. But there's like all sorts of different files, Orchis raid node boss, I guess a regular boss. Uh, and, you know, there's an whatever that was, enemy something. Orchis Raid node enemy maps, Orchis Raid's map sun. So again, I don't know if that's just something within the map that's it's gonna, you know, I don't know, like only the snow on the spotlight raid, something like that. You know, so there's a, there's a handful of things in here. Now, whether or not it's particularly interesting to you guys, you know, but what it does show is that this is the theme. And this kind of does go alongside the Age of X. So I'm not sure if you guys are aware, I'm just gonna give the full screen version. But Orchis Raids or Orchis, People are going to hate me for saying that. Orcus, 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 whatever. So anyways, moving on. They are an organization within the Marvel kind of X-Men universe, more or less. They're anti-mutants. There are characters like Nimrod, for example, and the Sentinels, uh, Henry Gyrick, and a few other characters as well, uh, who are kind of, it's been in the mo like the last couple years. So if you've kind of read any of the comic sagas uh, related to the mutant characters, uh, especially in the Krakoa era, this has been a huge thing in the comics. And so this is very appropriate for the Age of X. And the reason why I bring this up is because each major raid in the game has 
more or less followed an age, right? Like we didn't call it ages back then, but we had, you know, starting with the Ultimus raids, that was kind of the, I don't know, that was like the base game, right? And then we had the Doom raids. There was a lot of story revolving around Doom. We had Dark Dimension uh, 4, which resulted in Doctor Doom. And that lasted for a little while. And then we had the Incursion raids, which were the start of basically the Age of Mephisto. Because that's when I think the first raid team that came out for them was, I want to say it was the Invaders. Right? I think that's when they started doing that with the Incursion chapters, the way that the storyline rolled out, and things like that. So we're going to be moving away from this because we've moved now from the Age of Mephisto to, or Age of, you know, even Age of Apocalypse was like, I guess on the tail end of Doom Raids and into early Incursion Raids. The Incursion Raid was primarily the Age of, Age of Mephisto. I'm not even sure if it's labeled that way. I don't think it is on the website, but, you know, internally that's kind of what it is. And then now we kind of moved into the Age of X, right? So it makes sense that we're going to have a new set of raids to follow along that story path. And I think that's exactly what we're going to be getting. Yes, I need, I need to my raids uh but anyways so orchis raids will very likely be the next gr green is that yeah green raids that's the main ones so i think that's what we'll be seeing who knows when over the next three months something like that but i'm actually excited because we need new raids like i am so bored of the existing incursion 2.6 that's honestly what i'm calling it because this whole thing the first strike is essentially 2 to 2.2 and this is like 2.3 to 2.5 or whatever, 2.3 to 2.6. Like, it's, it's just the same map, right? Incursion 2, First Strike, and Incursion 2 is the same thing. And so it's been a real, I don't want to say failure, but we've been sitting on this for far too long. You know, I have the data on this, and we've been sitting on this for like three months more than we should have already. We've solved the entire raid for some time now. Spider Society was out some time ago. I'm honestly shocked that we don't have the new raids now. So I'm hoping that we get some news about that soon because it'll also be really interesting to know what kind of rewards might be attributed to this new raid because obviously right now with Incursion 2, uh, we have the red, red gear, of course, right? And, and G19, but uh, there, you know, it's got to be something around the bend for us because as more people get Mephisto, as more people upgrade G19 characters, we're kind of left waiting with, well, what's next, right? So that's just a little tidbit that I gleaned from the files there. Obviously, that's more most likely going to be the next raid. So let me know what your thoughts are of the theme. I think it's pretty cool. And what does that mean for like future? Does, I don't know. Is there any connection to future characters? Because, you know, Orchard, <laughs> yeah, I know people are going to like really hate me for saying it that way. But that's how I'm going to be saying it. So anyways, uh, related to Sentinels, I wanted to say Nimrod, uh, Dr. Stasis, who apparently is a clone of Mr. Sinister, uh, Moira McTaggart, Henry Gyrick. You know, there's all these like kind of characters related to that would we see them in the game at all in the form of a villain tech team that would be pretty cool i actually really master mold sentinels master mold nimrod you know that that kind of thing uh who was the guy from x-men 97 um i forgot uh, the, the names right there i forget someone's gonna put in the comments but you know what i mean like there's a bunch of characters that we could see that would be really cool as a new team i think now whether or not they'll do that maybe it's two on the nose you know given the theme of the raid well, we can we can dream, I guess. Sentinels would be awesome. Anyways, let's move on to the second topic. And uh, using basically the same system with Asset Studio and things like that, there's all sorts of asset bundle files that you can find within the game's files. Within the game? Game's files? Anyways, I said that a couple times. Doesn't matter. Point is, this is the next topic here, is Purple ISO. Now, I discussed this in my previous video, right? You know, I didn't probably go into as much detail as I am going to be going into here, but you can see some of the icons that are available that are already in the game. And it's no surprise, they're just upgraded colors of the current ones that we have, right? So armor, purple, these are the crystals, right? Armor, uh, damage, resist, health, and focus, and I guess the general prism look for that as well. And ISO 8 gear frame for purple, so those exist in the files right now, the sprite files. There's all sorts of other ones in here, but I don't know how many of them are really that important. There's like the unique ones that apparently we're never going to get. Uh, I forget where they are, but the Aerozine is around here somewhere, like this one, Matte Serum 5, Matte Serum 6. Actually, there's two of them, the Hydrozine, I, I don't remember, Aerozine, Olympus Extract. One of these is Olympus Extract, and one of these is Aerozine. These have been in the files for like years, and I'm not sure if any of these other ones, I don't even know what these are, if these are gear pieces. This is like Matte Metal. They, I've never seen them personally, so I don't know if these are new uniques, but they are not coded, at least in the files, for me to understand what that would be. It could be something completely different. Maybe a future unique that they kind of pre-planned, who knows, like for years down the line. 
But this one file here, you know, it, it does just it has everything. It has character files, uh, sorry, character avatar icons, which you can actually see. This is where I got the ones for, uh, open over here. This is the one for Odin, right? The avatar icon for Odin, which for some reason I, I can't maximize. But there we go. Zoom in a little bit, which you may have seen from one of my previous videos where my thumbnail contained the avatar icons for all the new characters plus Odin. So there we go. It just says portrait Odin and all the other ones. I don't think we have the vampire minion, though, even though I talked about that in my previous video. I don't think it actually has an avatar icon yet. But, uh, you know, all the other characters like Ares would be in here at this point, I suppose. And where's the gladiator just for sake of argument? G, 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 somewhere up here. <laughs> gladiator, the gore, gore and gladiator, right? So my point is that a lot of things can be found in here, which is really, really important because if you keep up on this, and it updates every now and then, it might gleam a little bit of stuff that might be coming. You just kind of have to look through this and understand what's important and what's not. And now there's, I, I wanted to just jump to something which is really hard to see because it's actually white. The background is white. However, if you look through these icon statuses, which are basically buffs and debuffs, I, I may have mentioned it in the previous video. I can't quite remember. There was something new that popped up that was brought to my attention by one of my followers. And uh, this one here, Icon Status Rage. So I'm going to drag this one over here. It looks like uh, that's what the icon looks like there. Something new that might be coming around the bend. And there's also another one in here as well. Where is it? Up here, I think it is, called Icon Status Darkness. The name of the file. With an, I don't know why I can't maximize it. But anyway, I can zoom in, I suppose. And so these are the two icons that appear in the game files now. Uh, you know, when, when, where, how, why, all that stuff, I don't know. Uh, but something that was not there before. Or at least it was there about a week ago when I last looked at it. But, I mean, it was new from that Monday splash screen weird update thing that happened there. Uh, so, again, these files are really kind of interesting to see, you know, if you check this every now and then, what kind of new stuff is actually going to show up in here. And it might give you a glimpse of the future because... Uh, I guess the way that they do their pipeline and, and their, their patching and all that, you know, they do this stuff quite a far bit in advance. So how far in advance? I mean, it varies, right? Um, but it's quite interesting nonetheless, or at least it is for me, for someone who's a bit of a numbers and files kind of guy. Now, one of the other asset files, this is the one that contains uh, avatar icon, not avatar icons, frames, player frames, currency, things like that. There's a few things that I noticed that's different. They kind of, I think they timelined the icon, uh, the the frames here. These are some of the upcoming ones, which look pretty cool, I think. So this one is the pool party frame for the upcoming Deadpool or the, the current Deadpool one. So that's a little frame there. And I wanted to show you the frame. It's called frame pool party try. I don't really know how that's different or where we're going to get that if that's in the month long. Uh, but these two frames are available here, which I think are pretty cool. And actually, I really like, do I still have that word? This one here looks like the heads of lollipop, not lollipops, uh, ice cream sticks. So I thought that was kind of kind of cool too. Uh, as far as other ones, I don't know when where are we getting that X Men ninety seven frame that you can see here. Did this ever come to? I don't have it, so I don't know where where or when did I miss it? Was it paid? Like I, I didn't get that one. And then another thing that's interesting is the icon for Icon Currency Battle World. Now I've been told that this has actually been in the files for a couple months now, so I don't think this is this particularly new. However, I just wanted to share this anyways, because uh, there it is, that uh, Battle World is not dead. <laughs> a lot, there's been a lot of concern in the community over the, uh, the progress of Battle World. Obviously, there's been nothing official posted yet, and I hope we hear something soon about that, too, that we can share. Uh, as far as other things that are in here, I mean, there's nothing, again, you just kind of have to look at this from time to time to see if they've updated anything. But it doesn't really appear that there's anything else worth mentioning here I think no no I don't think so let's move on to the final thing all right and so this is the extra ability ISO 8 file that you can get this is through what I would call standard data mining these are like text-based data mines where I just have to pull it up pulls it up in Excel and I can see the different uh, cells for that why am I here and that's because we can actually gleam a little bit of the information regarding upgrades to purple ISO now, just so people are aware, the coding that they use for this, I'm zooming out for the moment. So Assassin is obviously Striker, and then we have Fortify, which is Fortifier, and then we have Gambler, which is Raider, Restoration is Healer, Skirmisher is Skirmisher. But if we, the, the, the changes that were being made for this, so 
blue five, I believe, is level 10. I think it's level 10. So 11, 12, 13, and 14 are actually purple ISO upgrades. I could only assume that, right? Because it goes, it's numerical at this point. The first ones are green, and then it goes blue, and then it's got to be purple, right? And so it's, you know, if you read, I'm going to zoom in a bit, but it, it's very, it's very not uh, code based, right? It's gain, gain plus, I'd have to break it out, honestly, restoration, 5%, active healing over here. So I just want to active healing plus 5%, max health. There is something down here, which I believe is purple three, though. And I'm going to zoom out slightly here because I think it's I need to be able to, to read it here properly. When this character uses their ultimate ability, clear one, the coding rights, colored coding, HTML, uh, clear one vulnerable on self and all allies. That is purple three healer. OK, a lot of them do just kind of upgrade what they already do. So, again, it could be subject to change. Most like it could be subject to change still in here, though. Um, I don't remember, you know, when we had blue, like, were there any major changes to how things operated? I think a lot of them was actually in the healer and fortifier uh, category. I think the rest of them were kind of just like extra stuff they already did. Right. I think striker just did more damage like like on, on the, the striker attack. And I want to kind of go to a fortifier up here because their upgrades was interesting, too. So this is fortifier purple three. The rest of them are just increasing stats. And when you when you when you increase the crystals as well, that's just like flat stats, space stats increases as well. That's how it's always been uh, on turn. Clear one. Vulnerable on self. There's more. Uh, and then barrier on turn. Is that it? Clear? Oh, is it on turn? Just clear one. How, how is that compared to the healer one? I feel like that's a bit lackluster. And a lot of the other ones just are more crit crit chance more damage and so that part's a little bit disappointing i suppose gambler is more gain more crit max health crit crit and damage that kind of the stats it's the restoration one i think that was kind of neat because the upgrade at uh th there's one here restoration 15 description something brand new but i think that's gonna be way down the line right that's like purple five on primary hit, apply regeneration to your most injured ally, plus heal that ally for a certain amount <laughs> percent of this character's max health. Or minor bleed from your or clear minor bleed from your most injured ally. This is yes, that that seems similar to what it was in blue. I don't use as many healer ISOs, but that upgrade for restoration, I thought was pretty neat anyways, with regards to the vulnerability and uh, clearing that because that's something we don't actually have a lot of, right? There's very few characters in the game. I think maybe Hank, Hank Pym, I think Hank Pym does that, right? He clears vulnerability on his team Illuminati, maybe. I don't know if it's restricted to Illuminati. So I do think that, that when we eventually get our hands on this, that it will make some improvements, obviously, first to our stats because it's a base stat increase. But there may be certain certain versions that do a little bit more. Unfortunately, the only thing that I've gleaned out of this is that uh, healer and fortifier will have some like tangible change in terms of clearing vulnerabilities. That's that's a start. The other ones seem to just kind of add on to what they already do, which is you know more of the same, just higher <laughs> damage and higher stats. So uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. We have that. We also have, of course, Orcus raids, Orcus raids. It honestly just sounds so much easier to me to just say Orchis. I don't know why. Maybe it's me being me. But anyways, I'm excited for things to come around the bend. And hopefully there may be some communication in the future because I'm getting super bored of the current raids right now that I really need some new content to, to, to play, to swallow, to strategize, whatever the case is. And also finding out what the raid lanes are going to look like because I've been on the fence personally about whether or not we're going to be doing uh, we're going to be maintaining the origin raid teams or if it's kind of like spotlight, I don't know where like it's going to start to be like lane specific. I don't know. I'm like 60 40 on this one that I think origins could still continue, but I don't know until they release the next raid team really or the next raid comes out and we have our answer one way or the other. Anyways, that's going to be the end of this video, everyone. And until next time, stay safe and healthy and I'll see you all later. Well, I'm signing out.